Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. My name is Sassy Lady Libra, and today we are going to make a keto bulletproof coffee. Now, I have uh, recently embarked upon the keto lifestyle journey. Um, I do like the the, 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 the diet plans and the, the foods that um, we get to eat. And I'm extremely excited about this coffee because I love, love, love coffee. Gotta have it every morning. So, for this recipe, um, it calls for eight ounces of your favorite organic brewed coffee. I don't have any organic brewed coffee. I have some coffee that um, I brewed, which is this Folgers hazelnut. It's already brewed up in the coffee pot right here. Um, you're gonna need one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter. I don't have Kerrygold butter, but I do have one stick of salted real butter here. I'll get a tablespoon of that. We also calls for one tablespoon of organic coconut oil. I have some organic coconut oil here and um, it calls for one fourth cup or quarter of a cup of heavy whipping cream and I have my heavy whipping cream here and my fourth of a cup measuring cup. So I'm going to take uh, eight ounces of that coffee. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut my tablespoon of butter and I am going to place it, I'm just going to go ahead and place it in this old blender. I'm going to fix a cup of coffee here. About an eight ounce cup is what it calls for. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in this old blender here. I'm going to use that cup again. Then I'm going to take a fourth of a cup of heavy cream. Of a cup. I'm going to add that there to the concoction. Alright. Now I'm going to take one tablespoon of the organic coconut oil. And with keto, um, it's all about um, eating healthy fats, um, extremely low carbs, and um, you know, a, a decent amount of protein. I like that because I can use butter. And um, I can use cheeses and things like that and sour cream and yes, I, I, I love this. Okay, so and then of course I also have a, a sweetener of my choice. Uh, the recipe calls for um, stevia. It's optional. You don't have to use that if you don't want it. But I need a little bit of sweet in my coffee. So I'm using two of these sweeter, sweetener packets that I have. And then I'm going to blend it up for about 20 seconds. Gonna have a nice frothy froth on top, alright? Alright, and that completes our bulletproof coffee for today. Yes, it is really really tasty, it's creamy. It's really really yummy. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. And I don't know if you can see the froth in it, but it is frothy there. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy that. And I hope you enjoyed the recipe. And please let me know if you make it and please let me know if you like it. Have a wonderful day and peace out.